Hi everyone, I have already made um, another video about my altars, my new altars, but I didn't like it so I re redo it and hope that it will be better. <laughs> so this is my evening altar under the stairs and just I'm sitting in my bed here and it is the most enclosed and secret altar that I have. And it is devoted more to the changing energies of the world. Like with, you have the moon, full moon candle, the black moon candle. And there is the moon goddess, the dark night god. And behind there is the sun goddess and the green man that will soon come back. And that for me that I've given giving strength to the sun now for it comes back and nature blooms and it feels really really springy at the moment there are violets and there are flowers and some leaves that come back I hope it will won't be too difficult for nature if cold comes but we will see I feel quite safe and trusty at the moment in to the nature and edges so it's quite they are, they are quite greenies there some fir tree some ivy some oak tree and the white and pink coral colors are for scaddy no it's still hella's altar in the middle with some shells and bones but at Yule it will change into Skadi altar that is more with crystals and that is the winter goddess of the north and yeah this is my evening altar <laughs> that I maybe it's the one I use the most I there are really a few um, evenings when I feel too bad just to go down under the stairs and put my put the candles and some incense but most of the time it's the one I use the most I don't forget it and after you have my day altar um, I would like to make an image the broad image sorry there so you see it in its globality and it's constituted from little altars like the fairies altars, the ancestors altars, the friends and family altars, my goddess wheel, my god wheel, my double pentacle there and a new uh, garland that I have made. I have really enjoyed taking all the dry leaves and flowers and bays I had from the year that I used as offering to the gods and make garlands because I didn't feel to get it back to nature at the moment and it feels so between spring and autumn at the moment that I really needed the presence of flowers and leaves on my altar and so you have the fairy <laughs> the fairy altar it is the um, flower of life under it and with the little fairies that my parents have given me my reindeer stone I had made last year and this little pot that my auntie given me has given me with a um, flower that needed to be replanting us now so with some gifts from nature I have kept for it and here it's my stuff more sunny with a sunny with an amber there and I love this rainbow silk <laughs> and yeah my goddess wheel for the moment without hair with hell and soon we will be with Scaddy and from the moment we are here with the 
um, the Wild Hunter and soon we will be with the Storyteller for me, for the God and yeah, my Dubon Pentacle, you can, it's difficult to see the white one that is up and the garland and I have made a year ago this which is like the, about the 13 moons working with the full moons it has been really a great great moment for me so yeah some photos and an image of me and my sister if she has been still alive it has been a great a great healing for me to do this paint and to see it every day like yeah it is happening she has always been with me but having something uh, like real to see to look at it has really been a great moment for me and this image is de dedicated to my my lost friend <laughs> beloved Mary Christine with the stones I used for her when she was sick and I still need to have her near me and the candle dedicated to all my friends and family and I like this dragon that my father has given me when I was 18 so yeah I use my thing in bowls at the moment as offering bowls with some incense holder with turtle, turtles, turtles, or turtles there. And I use another one there for my evening needs like my wakey shells and stones and my mala and this stone is quite a good friend at the moment for sleeping it is a very very dark amethyst crystal and we go to the morning altar if I want to have a broad image of it it's there it's to the east where the sun comes and it's my more opened like altar like in the morning I open the window and open to the world and it's quite yeah my morning altar I don't work at it every morning but it's all it's the altar on which I have the more pleasure to work and to pray and to be and during the whole day it is the the one that I see the most in fact it attracts my eyes and I have put my old drum, little drum there, like the sun or the moon for really showing this light that comes. And I have put back under there at my eyes level my drawings of my patron Apollo and my matron Freya and the god and the goddess because they have come back in my life. Uh, at the time I have more worked with the elements and they did more a link to like the universal uh, divine and now they are coming back more giving me advice and guidance and yeah my pentacle full of walking with gifts it's Christmas after all still my fire cards are there because I don't have worked on my uh, skulls yet because I don't have my printer. My element candles with some work at uh, the moment with um, the elements for season of the seeker. And yeah, I found this morning some bay leaves for Apollo. Really feeling that he was there with me <laughs> and still is. And my beloved Freya, yeah. So it's a little turn from of my altars. I hope you liked it. See you soon. And I really would like to see your altars if you have not shown them <laughs> from a while. 
have a good day and a good show if I don't see you still there.